delivery number one for the day it is to a very nice lady at a education center she orders like four or five times a week seriously and she always tips at least seven but usually around 10 or 12. this is one of the smaller orders so i would say probably seven eight dollars but hey i'm fucking happy the order is 23 and some change and we are on our way i do have two other orders that are pre-orders one of them's like $80 order I think and the other one is about a $15 order we do have a $15 delivery minimum so last night I ordered a it's a three axis handheld mobile phone gimbal or stabilizer I've been looking at them for several months now and I decided to finally pull the trigger and buy one I mostly bought it for my other channel, Honda Budget Builders, because I do go to a lot of you know, car meets or car shows. Um, actually, I'm going to one this weekend. It's the Eibach. It's at the uh, Honda Heritage Center in Ohio. My car is in the VIP showcase, and my wife's CRV is in the featured section. So that's pretty cool. And then next month we have Import Alliance. That is in Bowling Green, Kentucky. They have a, a drifting track and um, a drag strip, which is always fun. I did not apply for the showcase this time around because the whole uh, Kentucky Imports crew is gonna meet up before the gates open. We're all gonna roll in together and we're all gonna park together because this event allows easy ups, grills, plus, the import alliance car meets or car shows they've been kind of going downhill lately and so people are boycotting by not submitting to the showcase because the import alliance is their slogan is for the people but it's not that so much anymore it's all about the vendors anymore i mean i'm sure the vendors bring in a lot of money but if it wasn't for the people then they wouldn't have a a car show and I think they've kind of forgotten that yeah this is the first time ever that they posted on their Facebook page that they have a lot of showcase spots available and it's only a month away actually it's less than a month away it's like three weeks and it's just because people are not submitting their cars for the showcase because it's just like I said they're boycotting I guess we could boycott and not go all, all together but it's a it's a reason for us car guys to get together and show off our builds and you know appreciate people's time and effort into their cars even if it's not our particular taste one thing about car guys you know it's a wide variety of, of people and everybody's cool with each other nobody ever starts shit there's never a problem and it's just it's fun it's lots of fun you know to go see and look at everybody else's car see what they've done to their car you know get some ideals for your car and just the uh the time and effort that went into people's builds we all just appreciate each other the order was 23.62 and i got 31 2 3 4 5 6 i got 36 so I got like $12 and some change. Thank you. So tired today. <sighs> got four hours of sleep. Jesus fucking Christ, what a day. Even the new guy has come to realize the harder you try, the more you get in trouble. This is a joke. Two more hours left in this fucked up shift. We got three salary managers at the store right now. And the new guy, or the newest salary manager, he's the only one doing any fucking work. And I was like, hey man, don't try too hard around here. He's like, oh, I figured that out already. He's like, the harder I try, the more I get in trouble. And the funny part about it is he is a friend of the GM's husband and he can't fucking stand her. I think I really like this guy. Ooh. 
so sleepy. All the rain and the cold weather is the uh, leftover of Hurricane Irene. You would think it would bring warm weather. Delivery number two, $12 tip. I'm about to take delivery number three. It was paid online and there is no tip online. I feel like it's not gonna be a tip because of where it's going. It's a business. But the employees at this business are notorious for not tipping, so. Could be wrong though. I have high hopes. Today is starting off pretty slow already. The uh, customer for this third delivery I'm about to take keeps calling the store and it's not late. It is 12.08 and the order was taken at 11.15. And we always give an hour on delivery, so I got like six minutes before it'll be, you know, six minutes for it to be on time. But this is that delivery that I probably won't get a tip, so that'll be their excuse. You were late. No, I wasn't. I was wrong. I certainly did not expect a tip. So, delivery number three. I got three dollars. All right, fourth delivery. It is 18.01 and it is to a high school. I think I've delivered to him before, the guidance counselor. And if I remember correctly, I'll probably get like a dollar or it's 18.01, they may make it an even 20 but I, I feel like last time they gave me a dollar. Whatever. I guess guidance counselors don't make very much money. Let's go fucking. Boss, god damn it. Come on, go, 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 go. Man, I'm gonna run this red light, fuck it. Oh, Jesus, fucking bus. Delivery number four, total is 18.01. They tipped me a dollar. It almost looks like a dollar sixty, but it's a dollar. I think the uh, guidance counselors need to get paid a little bit more. What do you think? 